Aeora. A world where mortals live, die, and are reborn through the turning of the wheel. The cycle of reincarnation watched over by the gods and made possible through pillars of a mystical substance known as Audra. Five years ago, you traveled from your home to the Deerwood, a nation that had waged war against the incarnated god of light, Aethys, resulting in his destruction. The country suffered from a plague of hollowborn, infants born without souls, that many believed was punishment for killing a god. In an ancient, secluded ruin, you witnessed a secret ritual that inadvertently transformed you into a Watcher. One who can see and speak with souls. The ritual also gave you horrible visions. Waking nightmares of a past life that threatened your sanity. To put them to rest, you pursued the man who had led the ritual a seemingly immortal agent of the gods, known as Theos Ix Arcanon. With divine assistance, you confronted and defeated Theos, ending your visions and resolving the Hollowborn Crisis. In so doing, you also learned the great secret that Theos had protected, that the ancient empire of Anguith had transformed themselves into gods. Your visions finally put to rest, you retired to the castle of Cadnua, built atop a massive statue of pure Audra, where you ruled in relative peace and prosperity. Made a nice story. You fixing up that old keep? And so you wake to a sleepless world. The in-between of life and death. Follow your memories. You have been here before. You have seen past the shroud. You are a watcher now. And a watcher you will stay. A watcher sees souls, knows their pasts, and the souls see them back. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. What is a god? Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked. The gods aren't real, but something else entirely. Something created by people. And did you ever consider that these were things you were never meant to understand? That their comprehension is beyond you? world see. Let them decide what to do. The wheel has turned again, Watcher. Come. An aged dwarf shares this strange floating platform. You can see. Sit, please. Thank you for joining us, Watch. A pale. She's your brush.
Does everything appear to be in order? Good. The dwarfs... Tell me, do you remember when we last met? You prayed for my help and you made the wheel she sl there will be time you had the beam though Aeth you and he are still connected taking a physical form in Aora is fraught with peril her armored hand gingerly places a card sideways on the table good before you return to Aora as my herald you must remember who you were the last whisper of life in death for a moment the sockets when you can picture your own face the beyond will lead you back to your own kind, to the world of mortals. Go forth now, Watcher, as my herald. Know that I do not give you this title lightly. When the time comes, you will have the power to reveal the souls that cling to you. To open the gateway from the in-between to the waking world. Find Aethys. Learn his plans. When I have cause to talk to you, I will summon you. With a quick gesture of her hand, you feel a sharp pain in what would be your chest. The pain continues in true- A chime. Do not fear, Harold. It will not harm you unless you choose to cross me... again. The pits of her eyes darken briefly, flashing a death's head your way. The translucent mask quickly returns, and her gauntleted hand gestures to the dwarf hovering nearby. The dwarf nods, contorts his face with his odd smile, and gestures to a new door. The creases of the dwarf's face tighten into a smile as he gives you a courteous nod.
The return to your body feels like waking after a fitful drunken sleep. The rocking of the ship sends pain jolting through your limbs. My lady, have you returned to us? The voice echoes from inside the bust. How are you feeling? Most of it, I'm sure. I hate to cast a pall over your recovery. Had Nua has been destroyed. Aethus possessed the statue of Maros Nua and rose from the ground, consuming the souls of all nearby. It is only by the exceptional strength of your soul that you survived. And even then, just barely. The further Aethus withdrew, the weaker you became. We chartered this ship and followed him to the Deadfire Archipelago. I know not how, but it seems he has retained a piece of your soul. And proximity to it has brought you back. Misfortune's brewing topside, we... Magrans fires the captain's stirs. An older man with ale-sour breath rubs his blood... Engrim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. Now what's this about? Pirates. They're demanding parley with you, Captain. It would be wise to arm yourself first, my lady. You'll find equipment in the wardrobe next to me. You should prepare for battle, my lady. I would not wager on the mercy of pirates. The pirates of Deadfire are notorious. I suggest you deal with them quickly. Slope, 
Lost and alone in the storm. I'll be taking your ship now, if you don't mind. And especially if you do. Give her up easy, and I'll see you get a swift death. It'll be bloody and agonizing, sure. But at least it'll be quick. Why complicate this with a quarrel? I see, I want, I take. It's as simple as that. Now then, me and my mates will be helping ourselves to your ship. There's no need to see her sunk by the storms. Or my culverines. Listen up, mates. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish. One with sharper teeth like. I'm trusting you lot not to cock this up. Don't damage the sloop when you take it. Play with the crew if you'd like, but don't bring me any prisoners. You heard, Fenwick! Off! Thank <laughs> you. 